talk about is what classes or prerequisites do you need to take to get into DPT school? So I just gathered a bunch of different places, what different schools were looking for and where you can really double dip so that you can increase your efficiency and so that you're not wasting time and trying to take all these classes and realizing, ah, oh, like I wish I should have taken this because it fulfills four schools at one time. Hi everyone, my name is Justin Lee and I'm a third year DBT student at Azusa Pacific University. I create vlogs to share inside classroom and clinical experiences along with giving you the inside scoop on how to get into DPT school, how to thrive in DPT school, and how to set yourself up for success after school is done. Today we're gonna to talk about how to get into DPT school. I'm gonna start this segment here on my YouTube channel on admissions, on prerequisites, and any kind of questions or concerns. I wanna be a resource for you, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment me, message me, anything, and I'll do my best to definitely get back to you as soon as I can. At this point, if you're watching this and you're very interested in what I'm about to talk about, either you're a high school student thinking about, okay, what, what, college do I need to go to to get into DPT school? You're a college student who's either interested in physical therapy or you're in pre-PT already looking into taking these classes for physical therapy school. And finally, you could also be somebody who has been doing some kind of job and realized they're not liking that and then decided, hey, I always was interested in physical therapy or like fitness or like things with the human body. Uh, what classes do I need to take for to get into this school? Our topic, what we are going to talk about is what classes or prerequisites do you need to take to get into DPT school? So Azusa Pacific is a school in Southern California and there's actually a lot of DPT schools in Southern and Northern-ish California. So I just gathered a bunch of different places and I wanted to kind of compare and contrast on what different schools were looking for and where you can really double dip so that you can increase your efficiency and so that you're not wasting time and trying to take all these classes and realizing, ah, oh, like I wish I should have taken this because it fulfills four schools at one time. Okay, so I have my laptop here. So take a look at my screen. Um, I have Long Beach, CSUN, Mount St. Mary's, this is Loma Linda, SC, Western, Pacific, Sac State, Fresno State, and of course APU up in here. And these are all basically the requirements for admission and so this is what you would look at. You have your prerequisite courses and this is exactly everything we're going to focus on today. So we see Gen Bio, Anatomy Physiology, Gen Chem, and Gen Physics. All of them say two semesters. Sometimes they say two, four semesters. You just gotta look at what they're saying if they're talking about semesters or units or things like that. So each place has a different um, verbiage that they use. But generally, you're gonna see that they want a full year with lab included of biology, chemistry, and physics. Almost all these schools here will have definitely making you take a full year of, of uh, biology, chemistry, physics, and anatomy and physiology. So let's take a look back here. Uh, Long Beach, C, they have bio, anatomy, physiology, chem, physics. We have CSUN, which gives you the prerequisite uh, courses here, and then bio, anatomy, physiology, chemistry as well, right? So all of these are pretty, pretty uh, similar, but I'm gonna look at APU since that's where I go. Uh, let's, and that's, let's just look at what you're required of needing um, for to get into this school. Okay, so prerequisite courses, biology. We need four courses. You need anatomy, physiology with the lab, right? You need cell or general biology with lab. And then APU actually doesn't require a second semester of gen bio. You just need a regular bio course and you do not have to take a lab, which is amazing, which is what I did. I took an online bio course and it went through. Woohoo! Okay, chemistry, one year with lab, definitely. Physics, one year with lab, you have to do that. Uh, make sure you're fulfilling those requirements. Exercise physiology, this is really important. Um, as physical therapists, we are giving TheraX, we're giving exercises, we're making people move. So you definitely have to have an understanding of physiology and what happens when you exercise. So this course is a little different from other courses that I've seen, but x -Phys is, I would say, it's just important to take if you're gonna be into fitness or any kind of DPT uh, profession. 
uh, stats, you need one course, psychology, two courses, and then all these regular, these are what you get in general, like uh, gen ed and stuff like that. So just look over that. And then of course you have your GPA and then other things like taking your GRE and then getting your letters of recommendation and all of that as well. But I just wanted to take this moment and make this video because I think there is a there is definitely a population that I've talked to and I've got a lot of concerns and questions from from people, students that are trying to get into DPT school, like what the heck am I doing? Where am I supposed to go? What classes am I supposed to take? And so I understand, like, let's say you're a business major and all of a sudden you want to get into PT school. That's cool. I love that. There's definitely different majors in our class and other other classes where they are still in P they got into PT school with nothing related to PT at all, which is amazing. But what they did and what you should do is look online like we did today and then find the courses that you need to take and then see if you can double dip. Because let's say if you decide to take, I don't know, biology and you're like, let me just see if I can handle all these science courses because I don't know, science isn't my thing. Well, you take that one biology class and if you do good, then you already are on track. You know, you're already like going towards fulfilling those requirements. Now, if you were just interested and you just took like an introductory PT course, that's cool, but you don't get any like credit towards what you're doing. So I'm all about efficiency. So this, doing this is definitely gonna help you so much in uh, accelerating your timeline of taking all those courses so that you can apply and get in. Because I think that courses expire I think they have like a six or eight year window. So if you took a course a while ago, you probably have to take it again if it is for your prereq. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns at all, please, please, please comment below, reach out to me, whatever it is, DM me anything so that I can answer any of your questions because I was there too. And I know I had a crap load of questions. If any of your friends are interested, please share this with them or anyone who's interested in PT or anything of that nature. Please feel free to use this video as a resource to them. All right, you guys, I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned so much. Thank you so much for your love. Have a great day.